Hi, welcome to the tutorial of Linktree. I'm going to do a Linktree tutorial on Flutter web. So Linktree is basically a landing page that it is uploaded on a web view and is usually used for Instagram profile where people will click on the link and then it will go to a mobile page and then you can promote stuff, you know. So an example is that following me at the happy hour is in all social media <laughs> so this is my instagram profile and you can see here the link link tree the happy Harris. that's where people place the link for this link tree and when you click on it it will look something like this so the thing is this is a desktop landing page what you need to see is how it looks like in the mobile web and it looks very simple it has a, only a few components so this tutorial is very good for those beginners out there who wants to try flutter or who wants to try flutter web and it only has a few widgets which is profile handsome photo you know you know profile and me the happy harris you can follow me on tiktok and whatever social media you can see and then i have a youtube channel podcast and whatnot so all of these are my links so it's very simple flat button kind of thing and then lastly you have this bottom uh, icon and also text so it's very simple but i'm trying to replicate as close as possible and my end result will be something like this so you have my face the text and all of, all of this and yeah built in flutter pretty cool right okay so as usual when you create a flutter project uh, you will be starting with a very boilerplate kind of uh, app. Oops, what is this? Oh god. Did not prepare that well. Alright, red screen of death. Okay, so you have this very simple counter app that allows you to just click on it. Thing is, it's pretty cool and it's a PWA, so it's pretty cool. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to create a link tree dot dot file and after that, you just need to create a stateless widget, all right? And we call it link tree and we will import the material and it will show a white background. So what we need is that we need the first thing which is the profile photo. So in Flutter, there is this widget called Circle Avatar. Is it called Circle Avatar? It is called Circle Avatar. I'm a smart person. Circle Avatar. And at the same time, we want to check how big it is. Alright, so let me show you something which is this thing called VisBug. Alright, so VisBug, it is a Chrome extension that allows you to search on the properties of all the different layouts that you have in a website oh my god so cool right so you can find the information of this width and height of the image and you can see it's 96 pixels so we're gonna use 96 however it is the radius radius is the is half of the size so we put 96 divided by 2 ah. And after that, we'll use a background image for our own circular handsome face. And there is this widget called Network, Network Image. Alright. Okay. So, if we refresh this. Alright. Okay. One thing that I forgot is you have to <laughs> change the home into your link tree page. You could see my handsome face. Alright. Isn't it scary? Oh my god, it's so scary. Okay, the thing is, why <laughs> is this? It's because we are using a container which actually use the whole uh, size of the, <laughs> the website. So we have to change into a column because we are going to stack different widgets. Okay, and now it will look <laughs> so much nicer, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay all right so you can see that my face is here it's different because i like a scary me and using facebook you are it is similar to this uh app i forgot what is it called 
but it has the same functionality so i need a space of 35 pixels so what i'm going to do is either you can create a padding or for me i will create a size box because it's so much more readable and yeah you have this spacing next up we're gonna have the text all right so the text has its own properties let's go to info and you can see here that it has some padding and line height font weight and color and such okay and the thing is it doesn't give a lot of details because i want to know the font so how to do that is you can go to inspect and you can just select this you can see the font family is carla font weight is 700 and the font size is 16 pixel this is what actually i wanted and the color is obviously uh lightish gray and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a text with my name on it so let me create a text The happy hurries, yes, yeah, self plug. Okay, so now you see this error, which is a very common error if you were to create a new screen, right? So, this error basically means that you don't have any material uh, properties that's being you know inherited to the text. So, what you need to do is you need to wrap the widget with a material widget. And then it will solve this error right okay next up is what well, i really need to go to the toilet huh? so let me pause oh my god i cannot tahan <laughs> let me pause i'm gonna go to the toilet soon see ya right i'm back okay so now we have our text here let's create the button some hair there okay so if you see here it looks like a normal button that does not have any elevation which is you guessed it a flat button ha 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 very funny <laughs> okay you have the flat button and the flat button requires two things so one is title okay. actually you can just ask oh you need a child and then after that you need on press okay the child will be a text and let me say YouTube. We have YouTube here. So you see this flat button, alright? It looks a little bit ugly. So what I need to do is I need to make it colorful. Alright. So what colors are we taking? And let's move this over here. Okay. Actually this has details on oh my lord <laughs> okay so you can see here it has the color uh, but I need it to be RGBA so you can actually right click and put it RGBA and so the RGB is 57 224 and 155 perfect so color dot from either A or here I, I use RGB 0 so 155 that's my bus that's my bus and my opacity is 1 and the color will pop amazing and the text color is white so what you need to do is to make the text color white so you go to style style it the text style it I'm gonna text style it and then with the color one thing I like about Flutter is that it has all the pre color inside so you don't have to create your own colors you just go white yeah and then you have it lastly so it's a little bit ugly so we need to put some spacing I'm all right okay so first of all we need to put some padding so you see the padding here uh, sorry about that Okay, you see the padding here 6 pixel and 12 pixel so the 6 pixel still represents the vertical and the second pixel represents the horizontal so we're gonna add in the padding for our name so text do not have padding so we're gonna add it wrap it with padding 
and symmetric. So you have horizontal and vertical. So let's do the horizontal, which is 6, and the vertical, which is 12. There you have it. Next up, what we're going to do is to measure what's... So it's, it requires 20 pixels at the bottom for this. So let's create a sized box. Love me some sized box with the height of 20. Now, the thing about the flat button, if it doesn't have a width, right, it will only constrain according to its child. So the child is a very simple text, so it only takes, uh, add some padding around the text. In order for you to make the flat button even longer, what you need to do is actually make a parent widget that occupies a large space or a space that you want. So we will use a size box. Very good, you're following along very well. <laughs> okay, let's take in a size box. Let's also complete it. Okay, now we need the width of this. If you were to make it uh, the size of an iPhone X or mobile view, it actually takes around 95% of the width. So in Flutter, you can actually take in the current width of your app. So let's go to the width. And we can go to media query dot of context dot size width, and you can multiply it to ninety five percent, and it will take ninety five percent, which is pretty amazing. Thing is, we currently have our own button here. One good thing about Flutter is that if you want to make it cleaner, if you want to extrapolate this uh, button into its own widget, Flutter tools helps you with that it allows you to extract a widget and let's call this a button link and there you go a button link has been created and then the thing is it's pretty static so I want to make it dynamic meaning that what if I want to have a different button with a different text so what you can do is you can create a name parameter called uh, text all right and this text all right so let's make it required now this widget needs a text parameter which let's call it YouTube and we can replace this with its own name parameter that's amazing yes so now what you could do is you can have for example four buttons with the same text Right, right, you have this. Okay, we are almost there. Okay, so now we're gonna change this into its own text style. Okay, the thing is, if you want to have this text style, Carla, you can download at Google Fonts and then you can search for Carla, Carla, and you can download it. So I've already downloaded it and already put it inside my fonts folder in my directory repository. And after that, in my PubSpec YAML, I created these assets where you can, you know, specify the weight and style of it. Then one thing that I can do is I can change this style into, so let's put style. So now it looks very similar to what we have here. Okay, next is we are going to also style this. Let's go to the button link. We only make it white. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the font family also Carla and the font size. So let's see what's the font size for this. Yes, so it's here. So the font size is 16, font with 700, font family is Carla. So let's do that. Put this here and it will change into this, which is pretty good. So the thing about the link here is it's pretty thin. So we need to fatten them up. Okay, so how much padding can we give this? So the good thing about this tool is that it allows you to check how much padding item has. Okay. So the padding is around 15 to 20 pixels. All right, so we don't need the horizontal, but we need the vertical padding. So we're gonna give it some padding under the text. So flat button actually has a padding. And then we're gonna do each inset symmetric with the vertical to be 20. And now it looks like a blob of text, okay. So we need some uh, margin or we could say some 
padding below. You don't need padding anymore. So what you need is just actually yes, you need a padding. All right. So let's do some padding. Let's see how much padding is required. Sixteen. All right. So let's do this only. So let's put two at the bottom. Sixteen. And now you have all of this neatly added. So it looks very close, right? So last one is an icon and a text widget. So let's see how much pixels it needs to raise from the bottom. 23 pixels. So let's go. Let's so let's go text and let's say build in Flutter. Okay, looks pretty almost there. Okay, next we have this widget called Spacer which takes up the empty space in between the widgets and will push the widget down so the thing is it has an empty space of 23 so we're gonna put the height 23 and will be elevated here perfect now we need an icon so previously i had a hummingbird icon so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this into a row and the row actually takes in a lot of space so it takes in so there is no constraint for this part so it will be infinite so what I need is to I need to make it as small as possible so make main axis minimum minimize the amount of free space along the main axis which is this axis this axis so we constrain itself and at the same time I'm going to get the image of the hummingbird with a width of 25 and we're gonna see how it looks like okay that's an error so let me see the error oh no there's no error it just looks pretty long so i think it's pretty close solve this small space so you're just gonna put another size box ha <laughs> ha space in between the text and the image so this is an image network all right okay nice Okay, let's make this into its theme, right? So why not? So let's go and grab this textile. Okay, so I'm gonna make this style. He's coral, huh? and my colors are black. Yes! And there you go. That's it. It looks very similar. So I have a comparison with that. And look, it looks so nice. So it's very similar in the sense that its UI is like almost there you see the buttons almost there and the spacing is a bit too much but you can you know uh, fix it so that's it for a simple tutorial on the Linktree UI widget right so basically what we have done is a simple circle avatar with a text and then we have also simple buttons using flat buttons and just a simple footer that we create from scratch Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on how to do this, hit me up. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something. Leave a comment down below. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a nice day. Goodbye.